All right, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. As you just saw in the little time-lapse stuff that I got, we are making progress on day one of the CR500 1989 Honda build here. Shout out to Gretna ATV and Cycle and uh, Gretna Nebraska. If you need any engines rebuilt, they did a great job. I'm very impressed so far and the turnaround time was great once I gave him the proper parts that were needed. That's what took the longest time was finding the shift fork levers and the getting the clutch basket swapped out with the 91 plus because the 89s are impossible to find. And built 500, they're a CNC machining. Some of these parts, Ken Kaplan, Kaplan America, if you follow his channel, they do a lot of two stroke uh, 500 CC stuff, but they're not quite uh, caught up yet to be able to mass produce these parts. So it did take a long time to find all these. So shout out to Ronnie Mack. Um, <laughs> if you don't know who he is, he led me to Ken Kaplan and uh, it went from there. So those guys, they have great YouTube channels with two stroke content, check them out. Sorry if you hear some background noise, my neighbors are doing some work on their house. So hopefully you can hear me okay. I'll give you the lowdown on what we did. We put the engine in, got the air box thing in. We still gotta do a lot of uh, detail cleaning and stuff, but right now I'm putting it together to see what we need to order. A couple wheel bearings, a couple radiator parts. I will show you also a couple extra parts that we're adding on to make this almost OEM stock bike just a little spicy, just a little extra. Uh, it's not going to be completely stock and it's not going to be overly modded either. First things first, what's really cheap is uh, upgraded red hoses. So they match pretty well. I think they'll look good on the engine. And radiator, of course. And then we have our electron carburetor. This is what I was talking about. Well, in my footage that you're going to see, I will be talking about it. I just edited that. So it's in the past for me. It's in the future for you. But this is the electron carburetor. Uh, as you can see, this thing is huge. There are no jets. The bowl is see-through, so when you turn on the gas, you can see it fill up and you can see your float rise and not. And if anything were to get stuck, you'd be able to notice it immediately. Check out Lectron uh, Fuel Systems if you want to upgrade your two-stroke and never have to blow out or change your jets ever again. But throughout the series, we will be doing Partzilla giveaways. We have two hats and we have, as well, two shirts. We have two of these hats, one of them, which I'm wearing. Hopefully I don't get dirty because I got to send it to one of you guys. And we have a couple shirts, Partzilla, and they're super comfy. I wear these all the time. I have like probably 30 of them. If you want to have a chance at the giveaways, follow Fooligan Vlogs on Instagram. I'll be posting it up today. Probably run it for a few days here. We'll start with a Havoc Racing Co. giveaway. Uh, a fresh, awesome pair of really nice glasses that they sent me. They sent me an extra pair because uh, they're awesome and I don't need it, so I'm gonna pay it forward to one of you guys. Uh, just go to my Instagram, a couple small things, you gotta follow, have it, follow me, make a comment, you know, simple stuff. And then I'll pick one of you guys in a few days to get it. Let me show you what we got. Oh yeah, look at that. Almost like riding glasses, if you will. Um, like a half goggle, half sunglass, so they look super cool. They fit really well. Then we have some extra accessories, uh, lens, stuff like that. So all in this sweet, awesome case, HavocRacingCo.com, check them out. Uh, I think these are called Magnums. Which is ironic because that's not the first thing Magnum that I've owned. <laughs> All right, let's get to the footage. We got an awesome KTM Duke ride for you. They're getting uh, getting loud over there, so <laughs> that's all we got. Instagram, check it out. Watch the video. Love you guys. Let's roll it. A video what's up guys did you like or did you not like the cr500 footage so far and the amount of progress we actually made on day one i'm really impressed to be honest with you the bike is already coming together it's already looking like a motorcycle and uh i'm just really really excited to rip and hopefully not hurt myself on that bad boy so make sure you leave a comment i want to hear your feedback on the build what you want to see out of it i know a lot of people say supermoto it you know but uh, it's not going to be street legal, so I don't really know if I want to go that route unless, you know, I do a conversion for a track day, which is very possible. We're going to get some food, charge up our uh, our energy here, and we're going to charge up our bike with some fuel. 
and then we'll get going on this beautiful evening night ride. Be sure, like I said, if you need any parts, partzilla.com is the way to go. I couldn't have done uh, this build without them, and it would not even be started without them, so they're the reason that I'm able to do this. You the real MVP. Other companies that have helped me so far, Electron. Uh, I have a huge Electron carburetor on there, and they hooked me up a couple years back for this thing whenever I started this idea of the build. And it's just been sitting there ready to go, so I unpackaged it the other day, and it looks really good. So make sure if you want to upgrade your bike to no jets and not having to deal with rebuilding your carb all the time, check out Electron. It's worth it. It's worth every dollar, I promise. Baby, what you want to do? Man. That was good. Good music, good food. I got the battered cod with some french fries. I just got in the mail today some fresh lenses from HavocRacingCo.com, so make sure that you check them out. Thank you guys for the fresh lenses. Obviously, we're still doing the giveaway on Instagram, so go check that out. Fooligan15 is my code if you want 15% off your entire order. Oh, there's another biker. Biker man, what's up? How was Applebee's? It's pretty good, huh? Did you get the wings? Yeah. I finally get to celebrate my birthday tomorrow. Well, I celebrated with some friends, which was awesome, but I'm celebrating with family tomorrow at a hibachi restaurant, which I chose two years ago, but I'm choosing it again. Cause that's my favorite part about my birthday is going out to whatever dinner you want. If I were a single hot mom, where would I be? I'm thinking about getting the mullet back guys. I already miss it. I'm saying it right now. I'm speaking it into action. Oh, there's another one. Another one. Coppers, are, is it road closed? Oh no, we're good. Just gotta go around them. We'll see what's going on. Detective Fool again, 69 News. We're on it. <laughs> you can't park there. No, I'm not gonna do that, dude. Because these cops would definitely take that sensitively and then hop in their car and chase me down and say that I'm interfering with the investigation. So, <laughs> that would be classic though, but not worth the TikTok views, let me tell you. What in the world? Is it a drug bust? Sweet. Oh man, the special forces. Holy cow. <laughs> Which brings me to my next point. <laughs> Don't smoke crack. Hey, get it, buddy. Everybody's shirtless today because it's so damn hot. Comunidad Cristiana de Omaha. Oh, Omaha Christian Community. Spanish. See, I learned a little bit in Mexico. What's up, buddy? Call me weird, but I'm really curious to see what's on this t-shirt. What if it's like a limited edition, one of a kind t-shirt, you know what I mean? Don't mind me. Sorry. All right, let's see what's on this baby. What do we got? Drum roll, please. Just an all black Ralph Lauren. Polo, what? Just cleaning up the world, one Ralph Lauren polo at a time. Make this look a little better in the process, huh? Was here, goodbye. <laughs> it did it again. I caught it this time. Man, technology, anything newer than like 2002 technology just blows my mind every time. <laughs> God bless America too. Sorry, the storage thing said God bless America and I just agreed with it and then I had an outburst. But you can call me ADD on account of the fact that I have ADD, which is attention deficit disorder. And you know, everyone used to think it was just an addiction to sugar when I was six. And my mom used to cry because she thought I would never be like a fully functioning member of society like my neighbor who has Legionnaire's disease. <laughs> oh, my ABS works. Am I not in supermoto mode? Bastards. I just thought of the best analogy, right? I'm not a good rider, so I make up for it by being funny. It's like, like if you're ugly and you land a hot girlfriend, you just make her laugh and it works. You know, I'm a terrible rider, but I make you guys laugh and it totally distracts from the fact that I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Random thought number 647 of the day. There's another copper. That's like copper number seven or eight now. I Googled this the other day. Do they call them copper because they have copper buttons and copper badges? So it's like cop, copper. You know, or is it cop because they like to grab people, like they, they cop you, they grab you and take you to jail? Or is it constable on patrol? You'll never get it out of me, copper. I'm no rat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's derogatory. I don't say cop in a derogatory way. I respect police officers, you know, as a whole. <laughs> You're right, Preparation H does feel good on the whole. That's what I want right there. Nice little tent and a trailer. Whoa, sweet, but the blue lights on the bike. I'll tell you, I'm all for the lights on the bike and the LEDs and being corny and cheesy, whatever, it don't matter because people will see you and you have a lesser chance of dying. So, light it up, baby. <laughs> Whoa, canoe. Dude, you really gotta get a flag on that thing. 
biker could smack right into that, especially with it getting dark, and that's a dark ass canoe. My gosh, bro, come on. Try to kill someone with a canoe? Is that a cop? Yes, it was. They're everywhere. Oh, I see. That's why. Why did I come down? What the hell's wrong with you, Derek? Ooh, spicy boy. Automatic. At least it's a V8, that's good. That's interesting, it's kind of cool. Jesse, don't do it. Another motorcycle. What's up, buddy? Three, two, one, and bros for life. Aww. What up? Scooter, brother! I'm not even mad you didn't wave, dude. That's cool. Free Shavakadoo. Newtowtrucks.com. If I ever want to get a tow truck, I'll remember that. Thanks. Okay, so before I end this video here, because it's getting pretty late, I've stopped at three separate... Oh, I have to be in neutral to start this? Lame. Apparently no one freezes crab... They used to do it all the time, where you could go and get like a, you know, $15 of frozen crab legs, and they're legit, and they're good. You know, put them in your boil, but no! And then we're going home, and I want to post this vlog up in the morning. And then after I post this vlog, we're going to get back to work on the 500 a little bit. And we still have to wait for some parts, but we can still make some progress while we wait. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. I love you. <laughs> I'll probably do the outro now. If anything else interesting happens, I will throw it in after the outro before the Cinna, or no, connected. So that being said, uh, I love you guys. Smash like, comment. We'll see you soon. Peace.